COVID-19 concerns have changed the fight against childhood cancer. The St. Baldrick's Foundation has been forced to go virtual. Fox News Jeff Bernthal reports on the adjustment and how a nine-year-old from the Metro East is providing some inspiration. All right. She's only had her hair cut once before, so shaving it all off is a big deal for Hava Peepgrass. But so is the reason she's agreed to go bald. Well, I'm shaving my head because I've had two friends that have died of childhood cancer, and I want to make sure that um, some kids who are in the same, same situation have even more of a chance to grow up. I know like children like Hava are an inspiration to everybody because, um, you know, if they can do it, we can all do it, right? This video from previous events shows how the St. Baldrick's fundraisers have worked in the past. With the arrival of COVID-19, the head shaving has turned into a virtual event. Individuals connect online instead of in person. The St. Baldrick's Foundation has found that by hosting these virtual events, there have been some unexpected benefits. A lot of our events can get really um, loud and, you know, there's a lot of exciting things happening. And so this virtual space has allowed us the opportunity to kind of get them face to face with um, our researchers and our honored families and give them more of that that individual one on one time to kind of show them the full circle of where their funds are going and the difference that it's all making. Hava's proud father just wants to see a cure. Hopefully with the supportive groups like St. Baldrick's, we can move that needle to the point where it's a, it's a, a far distant memory. That's, that would be our hope and our goal. And if anyone wants to join a virtual event, they can check the St. Baldrick's Foundation. Hava has advice for anyone nervous about shaving their head. There's no need to be scared. It'll be okay. It grows back. And by doing this, you are helping people, um, helping people with cancer. Reporting from downtown St. Louis, Jeff Berthal, Fox 2 News.